it okay. So good evening again, my YouTube family and friends. Good evening to everybody who will watch this video. And tonight, it's at night. Okay, it's evening. <laughs> so it's evening time. It's Monday, it's December 6th. It's raining in our neck of the woods. We've been having rain since last night. And today I uh, went to work and not heavy downpours, but consistent rain. But you know what? We give thanks because we're here. We have, I, I, we're here. <laughs> And if we're here, it means that we have hope. And if we have hope, we know that things will change and things will get better. So I'm continuing the series with um, immigration process as it relates to Jamaicans and maybe other countries has to be the same process, the same expectations. And as I thought about it to give, I think tonight is my final one, um, just a little some little tips. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, as I said. I am not, I'm just a teacher. <laughs> but the information I'm actually sharing is from personal experiences. And I know and listen to people who have been going through this process and know that some things do not work. I also have, as, a, as an educator, um, sometimes you hear the stories of the heartaches and the pains that come with um, immigration and so I just wanted to share a few things and tonight before I share my my final thing which is actually going to be about the GED which is a high school equivalency program um, that can support us and when we come to this country I want to first just give a little something from Dr. Louise Bennett Coverley again it's, those are it's not my words I'm not claiming that they're my words, they are borrowed from her, from her. Um, this is her work. Um, and so I want to share this because the title of it is America. And as I read it, I smiled because <laughs> you would see some things in there. So I'm actually going to read it because I don't know these from my brain. So I'm going to read this. It said, every second got him jeggy. Every puppy got him flee. And you know somebody if you and you know somebody if you know got family overseas. Uncle Zaki sent a parcel. Email cable come from Sue. Sammy board pull out this morning. You know here's a Sierra flu. Everybody does a top board fingerprinting and passport. Finance broad. American Council. Airways ticket, winter coat. I wonder is what for them. Find rid, find rid poorly Jamaica. Make everybody that lift up and go America. By the time you say, who's pick me? And you, as you yike quint, as you yawn, you miss muddy and bops you here. Is America them gone? Some are going for vacation. Some are going for turn high. Some are going for education. But the whole of them are fly. Me ask myself, what a matter? Me ask myself, what make? Is tidal wave or earthquake or is storm them that expect? Jane says she meets so much old friend when she strolled down New York. That she feel like is down King Street or Luke Lane, she a walk. They might call me for a fashion, but what fit do me, child? If you know for a fashion, you will never in a style. So me never go for a fashion. Me they lift up and go away. Anytime you no hear me mouth. Is America midday? And she used to end with ay ay ay. <laughs> so I did the best I could do with her language. Patois is not an easy thing to read. <laughs> but um, you get the gist. It's just about, it says, people leaving 
to come to America. So as we continue to come, America is huge. It's a big place for everyone who wants to come, if you can come. But my tips that I've been giving is just simply to help you, you know, make it a little bit easier. Because sometimes we come in because we came unprepared, then things become harder than easier. So as I said before, you file for spouses, show that you have been supporting these spouses. If you can show those things, it kind of makes the process, I'm not going to say you're going to get through, but it makes the process more, um, you know, looks more like a family affair, like this is genuine, this is good. So that's something that I know worked when I went through the process. Another thing that I mentioned, I said when we're bringing our children here, it's, it, it, it's, it's not an easy thing. They come and it's a whole lot of stress and hardships and fearfulness because they're coming, especially when they have to be registered into these huge school settings. All these different kids, they don't look like 80% of them doesn't look like them. And then they have to learn to make friends. They have to, 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 to be ready to deal with kids laughing at them because of the way they speak or, or, or laughing at them because of how they do things a little differently. So as I said, prepare them for these things. You have to be strong for them. You have to make sure you're visible for them. You have to make sure you're seeking out resources for them so that they will get the, the support to help them um, assimilate much, much faster and, and in a more successful way. We do not want kids to give up and decide they don't want to come to school because kids are laughing at them or they don't have any friends and and, and things like those. So please, as an educator, I have seen it, I understand it, and so I'm asking you, please make sure that you address these things so that the children can have a better transition. The next thing that I talked about was the work papers. Yes, you're coming, and, and let me tell you something, Jamaicans are some of the hardest workers, the most, the most brilliant people that you can find around. And so, but when you come, if you have nothing to show, America is all about paper. They're a lot about paper. If they don't see it on paper, then you don't know anything. So one of the things, as I said, if you get a call, if you have somebody filing papers for you and you expect to come here, don't just sit and wait for the papers to come and then go to the embassy and struggle to get through. And, and I'll remember when we had um, President Trump he made a lot of changes. Remember what he called these countries? He called them the SH countries. Um, and so what the, 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 the rhetoric was, they want people who are coming with skills to build the country. They want people who are coming to give something back. They don't want people who are coming to be a burden to their economy and, and things like those. So as I said, try to find out. You're smart people. You have skills. Some of you doing construction work forever, but you have nothing to show that you're a mason or that you are, you know, or any, any kind of good things that you have been able to do and create all these years. But you have trade schools, you have the hard program that if you reach out, they can help you to get a certificate. They can help you to, they'll give you something to do and if you're able to create it, then they'll give you a certificate to show that you have you have the paperwork to show that you are marketable, you can do it. So tonight I decided to not only give you a little Louise Bennett to climax this little series, I think, um, if something else comes up or somebody asks about another topic, I will research it and come back at you with another part to it. But tonight I wanted to just talk about once you get here, and even if you come with a piece of paper that's saying that you're qualified for something, don't forget that. If you have a high school diploma in Jamaica, don't leave the paperwork in Jamaica. Bring it with you. If you finish high school in Jamaica, bring that high school paper. Years ago when I came here, they didn't even acknowledge were, um, education out of Jamaica. 
But now you see that we have colleges and universities that are, are, are connected with the American um, education system. And so they're accepting high school diplomas from Jamaica. They are accepting, you know, any certificates that you have that shows that you have some work experience. So bring them with you. Uh, when you come, the GED program, it's a program that it's a um, general educational development program. And what it does, it, 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 it is, it focuses on your math, language arts, social studies, and science. And you go through, some people can try it. Um, when I came and I saw what they were doing for the classes, I did ask to try to take the test on my own and I took it and I passed. So everybody doesn't need to go in for the, for the training. Um, if you think you are capable to manage it, then go and go get the information you need um, to go and try taking the test. If you don't pass it, ask around, get into your churches, ask for support, find out where these, these um, trainings are, where, where the, the people are doing the classes so you can get the, the support you need so you can go ahead and take the test and pass it. That certificate is acceptable in universities and for jobs, they'll ask you for your resume um, if you have high school or high school diploma. And um, high school diploma or GED, I'm sorry. High school diploma or GED. So it's accepted wherever for jobs or to get into colleges. So you want to come and do your nurses aid, you want to come and go start at community college. Some of you come and you're qualified or you have the ability to start at a four-year college. Go for it. Don't ever come and just settle for, 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 for just the bottom. Go for it. A lot of us come here and we... We become so shy and so afraid to represent ourselves and to, to put ourselves out there to show that we have what it takes to compete with the best of us. And so we, we sit there and we struggle. And well, we don't need to struggle because we have the abilities to do well. So I am just sharing again tonight that the GED program is there. Um, depending on the area you live in, like my area where I live, we have access to free training um and it's it's people from jamaica actually who are um, former teachers who run the program and so they no matter how low you think you are they help you learn the math understand the social studies understand the things that are needed the language arts the writing of the essays how they want their essays the five paragraph essays um, people are there who are patient and, and willing to support you um, to get further with your life. So remember, if you settle for less, you'll make less. If you come and you decide that, you know, I want to build, I want to live in a decent way. A lot of you come here from Jamaica from beautiful homes, beautiful things, and then you come here and you end up just just wishing that you didn't even leave your country. But only because you're not getting the financial part of it that you'll come here. But it doesn't mean you need to come here and live substandard. You can come here and start at the bottom, but you can start building. And so get your GED because it's necessary to start the wheel rolling for the college credits for the other professions that you might need, or training schools or whatever it is, to push you forward. Your young children are coming to get into public schools, but also think of the charter schools, which are smaller settings. The, the, when you take your kids to register and you go to the district office, ask about the magnet schools. Because these are schools in a smaller setting where I don't Kids might be mean and be, you know, picking on kids or, or displaying negative, but it's not so prevalent as it is in the big, oh, big, big, big public schools. So look at those options. You know, some people come and they didn't know that 
there were other options for schools for their children. And so they settled for the, the public school where kids can be a little harsh. So find out about your charter schools, smaller school settings, um, monies from corporations, but your kids are getting educated. Um, the magnet schools are also, um, they're funded by the, 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 the state, by the city, um, but you, it's a different setting. It's a different setting, sometimes smaller class sizes. Sometimes the resources are used in such a better way. So look for those opportunities for your young kids. The older kids, please encourage them to come and again GED if they if they like if they're coming here and they're too old for high school. Some kids come and they don't want to go in to finish the last two years or to repeat a grade because they are too old. But introduce them to GED. Don't let them start walking the streets or get caught up in street things because it's only going to bring heartache and pain. Because believe me, this place, <laughs> it can build you, but it can tear you down. So America is good. It has its resources. It has so much to offer. But you have to come with the mindset and you have to come with the, with, with, with the know-how as to how you're going to find the resources. Be diligent. Be diligent. Be very diligent. Do not come and settle for less. Do not come and sit and wait for things to come to you. It's not going to happen. And you will lose too much while you're waiting. You come in. It's going to be cold in the winter. Starting in November. It's going to get colder. Pack on the layers. Add a t-shirt. Add a, a wife beater. Add a, a, whatever you want to add on the dirt under your clothes. But add them on. Put on a, a pair of socks. Put on two pairs of socks. So you can go out there and meet the challenges. Wear your hat. Wear your gloves. And if you have one coat, don't worry about it. Wear it. Get your scarf so you can keep your necks warm. And just head out there and know that. Give yourselves a timeline. You know, within two or say five years. Within five years, I know that I should get this and that and that in place. And so you work hard. If you work hard, it will happen. You know. So get out there. Sometimes you go home, clothes are sweaty. You know, your feet are getting hot and the, the socks are... Don't forget how to wash your little things and hang them up. In the winter, you definitely have heat in the house. Use those heaters to dry things so the next day you go out fresh and nice and clean. You know, a lot of kids come and you're, you're sad because they come from the islands and they don't know how to wash. They don't know how to come in and keep themselves clean and fresh. They act as if, oh my God, I've never seen this. But our kids know how to wash the little things. They don't need to wait for laundromat and mommy doesn't have a, a washer in the house. Or It's okay. Let them continue to do the things they know how to do. Hang them up. Put a little string over the bathtub so things can drip in there. And help them to keep on keeping on. Don't let them fall in the cracks. Don't let them get caught up with tablets in their eyes, burning out their eye holes. Please, people, bring your beautiful kids come here and let them continue to strive. Don't let them come here and become different. Let them come and continue to work hard and to build because they are our future. And so because they're our future, we have to make sure that we're giving them what they need to become successful people. All right, so <laughs> that's what I have to offer tonight. I said a little Louise Bennett, America, everybody. Um, every seke got him jeke. And so everybody has an opportunity to come to this great big country. And wherever you are, as I said, find your resources. Your churches are good resources. Find your churches. Get into them. Ask questions. People not just going to volunteer things to you. Ask questions. Get into your churches. Become part of your community. Let people know you. Ask questions about your kids. Don't just bring them and feel like, I live here so they have to go to the school. No, we have school choices here in Connecticut. And so... You don't have to go to the school in your community. You can 
get bused to another school. So, free information, guys. And if it does anything for you, please remember, subscribe to the channel. Encourage others to watch a video or two or three. And know that I appreciate all of you who have supported me all, these, all, all this time. It's almost, what, a two years? It's going to almost two years. Um, and so I thank you all. And if you can't be good, be careful. But I hope that the information I offer will be, it will mean something for you. And it will help you as you continue to do what you need to do to make it a better place for you and your families. So... Yeah.